interviewing Ian today. Where are we now, Ian? This, we call this um, our Syntropic area. We've basically done a, a little mini uh, start of what Ernst Grolsch in uh, Brazil has started off, his um, Syntropic movement. And basically, um, it, it's a, an integrated process of, of agro-reforestation, so you're actually going to leave permanent trees here. You see these gum trees here are coming up to shade. Now, they'll be pollarded, I believe is the word, which is basically, or coppiced, where you get basically constantly uh, pruned heavily, maybe even taken right off, but they get to regrow. So they create a structure and a higher canopy for growing um, not so sun hungry plants underneath. So it, like it's in a jungle or in a nature or in a forest area, things are complicated. You know, they're not simple lines of things. You'll often see different stories of plants, different heights with different requirements for light, uh, different requirements for uh, wind pressure, you know, different requirements for all sorts of things. So it's a good farmer has lots of knowledge. You know, it's not about just reading a packet. You need to understand all these different things and work out in your area what works. And We've been doing this here where we're doing ginger and turmeric in underneath the uh, bananas and the gum trees and it's just been working magic. Yeah, got and I'll just hone in and show you, show you that up close. So we've got banana trees there, gum, tree gum trees and dragon, and dragon fruit. So this is a syntropic area, uh, silver lining. That's all our turmeric. It's all oh. waiting to be harvested. Oh, it's, all, wow. it's all the ground's full of turmeric and ginger here. All these beds, except this one, we've harvested this one. But the next two are full of ginger and turmeric wow. waiting to be dug up. Wow, could you show us a little bit? Sure. Let's hone in and have a look here. Look at that, and you can see the beautifulness of the soil, the nutrition that's in there. It's see, incredible. Look see, at that. There's the turmeric there. See it? Yep. Beautiful. And so when will you harvest that? Before your next market day? Yeah, or? well, we just keep it. Basically, it never stores fresher than here. Yeah. You know, you can keep it in a cold room, but it's better actually there. Look at it. Yeah. See, it's actually happy, ready to go again. If you don't, if you don't harvest it, it'll just grow again next year. It goes again. And turmeric's just a one wonderful food, isn't it? Oh. Antifungal, antiviral, antibacterial, anti-inflammation. Anti-inflammatory is the yeah. the winner. Yeah. It's fantastic because I know because I have sciatica from basically from driving tractors all the time. You get push your body around. You get you get a. I'm not the only farmer I know that gets a bit of sciatica. Sciatica, from it. yeah. And so, how would you recommend to take the turmeric? What, do you curry. drink it? Do you curry, just eat of it? Course. Curry, yeah. or, or in a chai if you can make a chai. Mm -hmm. But basically, yeah, blend it fresh. Yeah, fresh is fresh is best. Beautiful.